In this video presentation, we're going to carry out the continuity of CPC, we're going to include the polarity test at the same time, and follow it with the insulation resistance test on a circuit that my learners have mimicked in the workshop to help them with their sitting guilds 5357 practical assessment. The circuit comprises of a FP200 and a two core mineral insulated copper covered cable. After the install on the 5357, all learners are expected to carry out the dead tests. So we're going to carry out the continuity of CPC, include the polarity at the same time, and follow it with the insulation resistance test on this rig. I think it'd be worth bringing the camera in and seeing a little bit closer how we're going to carry out that test. So before starting out my test, I'm going to need to remove the smoke detector front, take a flat headed screwdriver, position it in the slot on the side, and then push the detector away in order to remove it. I next need to remove the front plate here in order to expose my line, my neutral, and my circuit protective conductor in order to start the test. So in previous presentations, I've used my crocodile clip and link in order to link together my disconnected line conductor to my earth bar where my CPCs are connected in order to carry out my continuity of CPC and polarity test. This time, however, I'm gonna not use the link and I'm gonna simply connect the line conductor into the earth bar itself. Won't matter which hole that we choose in order to connect it to, meaning that we've got a solid link between the line conductor and CPC before starting the combined continuity of CPC test and polarity. As we're gonna to need to prove continuity of CPC at every point in the circuit, I will be required to remove the front from the fuse connection unit in order to access the terminals behind it. So I've set my Mega MFT up onto ohms in order to measure the continuity of the CPC. We're gonna measure R1 plus R2. So we've linked together as stated before, the line conductor and the CPC in the consumer unit. I've removed the resistance of the leads and I'm ready to do the test. So if I test between the CPC and the line conductor, I get a reading of 0 0.11 ohms. As we've got a metal back box, also I'm gonna to go to the exposed conductive part between line and the exposed conductive part and I get 0 0.11 ohms. Next I'm going to have to remove the fuse within the fuse connection unit as part of the polarity test. So let's remove that fuse and we test again between the line and CPC. You can see now we've got an open circuit. If I replace the fuse and take the reading again, the continuity reading of 0 0.11 ohms is returned. And that's the highest reading I've achieved so far, but it's not the completion of the test. We've gone to the furthest point on the radial circuit and measured R1 plus R2, a continuity reading. We've removed the fuse as part of the polarity test, but we must go back now and do the actual metallic fuse connection unit to prove that is also connected to the CPC. So we're gonna to need to prove the continuity of the CPC at all points on the radial circuit. So therefore I've come back to the fuse connection unit which has a metal back box and a metal front plate, which are exposed conductive parts. And I'll repeat the test again. So I'll go onto the line conductor and onto the CPC, a reading of 0.03. I'm also gonna to test to the front plate. So I wanna know that actually is connected to the CPC. Front plate, 0.03. The conductor in the back box, 0.03 and the metal back box itself physically onto the metal back box of 0.03 as well. Of all the readings I achieve on the radial circuit, I record the highest one. Covers are now returned. The fuse connection unit goes back on. However, we're going to leave the smoke detector front off in order to carry out the next test, which is insulation resistance. So again, we've carried out the insulation resistance test many times on the channel. There's just one thing to bear in mind this time because we haven't fitted a smoke detector or heat detector before. This is full of electronic components and needs to be out of circuit before passing 500 volts DC through it during the insulation resistance test. So remember to take it out before we start the test. I'm gonna bring the camera in and just show you what's going on in the consumer unit, but be aware the smoke detector is off. So I've set my Mega MFT up to 500 volts DC in order to carry out the insulation resistance on this 230 volts AC circuit. The RCCB is in the off position because it contains electronic components. I've also kept the MCB in the off position. However, it doesn't contain any electronic components. It doesn't matter which order in which we test them. I'll go to the earth bar first where the CPC is connected and I'll test between line and the earth bar. 
a reading greater than 999 mega ohms. Sometimes people like to pronounce that as mega ohms. Generally, we've been going with mega ohms. I'll go between the neutral bar and earth bar. A reading greater than 999 mega ohms. And finally, I'm going to test between the neutral and the line connection. And again, reading greater than 999 mega ohms. I hope this video has been some help.